Death Valley National Park got its name from a group of lost pioneers, one of which, after climbing over this very mountain range, turned back and said, Goodbye, Death Valley. Imagine the fear those pioneers were facing in this land of extremes. Arguably, one of the hottest places on earth, the dangers of this vast land are prominent in the name itself. For my trip, I took on the challenge of climbing Telescope Peak which is the highest peak in Death Valley standing at 11,049 feet. My trip would be 17 miles and 4,635 feet of elevation gain and loss. Dry camping these desert mountains meant carrying in all of my water, pushing my pack weight up to just over 40 pounds. Death Valley is a rift where over time the sinking bedrock of the basin and the violent upheaval of the Amargosa and Panamint mountain ranges create this magnificent landscape. Small shifts that are currently occurring at the rate of five tenths of an inch per year have, over time, led to the dramatic peaks and valleys of this desert.
I should set up my tent. Maybe I could take a little nap. Should have brought a book. <laughs> What's another pound in the pack? Well, camp is all set up now. It's actually been set up for a couple of hours. It's actually been set up twice because the first time I set it up, it was down the hill just a little ways there. Um, it's the first spot I saw and it had good shade and I wanted to get in my tent, take a little nap in the afternoon. So that worked out nicely, but then I woke up and I went out and started exploring a little bit and I saw what looked like a little use trail kind of further up and then I saw this horizontal branch and I thought hey that's probably a campsite <laughs> so I came to check it out and this one actually has way better views but it is completely exposed <clears throat> so no big deal because the sun is going down quite shortly and the wind is picking up so the temperatures are dropping <laughs> so I'm just hanging out all by myself I would love to have some conversation <laughs> I've been doing like some work writing stuff but um, yeah it's, it's, it's a little lonely um, and honestly, like, that's the part of this whole solo thing. I never was afraid of external forces causing me harm on a solo trip. My fear was of what was in my mind. When I was alone in the quiet solitude of the mountain, fear of failure crept in. I started to doubt myself and regret many decisions. Oh, there's a hawk right there. That's cool. Decisions that I've made that are allowing me to follow my dreams. I was afraid, not of death on this mountain, but of trying and failing in life. I got to the point that I nearly talked myself into not completing the hike to the summit the next day. Then, I decided to simply stick to my plan. I remembered that at any given moment death is only a day away, so why not risk failing if, in doing so, I may gain the reward of my life's purpose?
fingers are so cold. Um, good morning. It actually worked out to be quite a nice night last night. The winds died down a bit. They were actually howling on the other side of this ridge, but on my side they were pretty moderate to even light. Um, so I got some pretty good sleep. I did get up and shoot the stars a little bit at about 2 a.m. and then was up for a couple of hours, fell back asleep, um, and then was awoken when a hiker came through. Um, and I think they were kind of running through to try to catch sunrise from the peak. So I've just been slowly gathering myself this morning, trying to stay warm. Um, I'm going to leave my tent set up with a number of things inside and I just have my pack with me um, with my essentials for hiking because I'm just gonna go summit telescope peak which should be about three and a half miles from here so I'll go up come down break camp and then head all the way back out today I'm really excited to hit the summit I do anticipate that I have quite a hike ahead of me not very many miles but I know the last two miles are quite steep, so I'm ready to tackle it, feeling rested and fresh. Dust to dust, none of us are getting out of this thing alive. Death feels like the enemy, but if we allow it, death will give us great promise of peace in knowing that all things are temporal. We're just passing through time and space. Allow this thought to give you courage. Don't spend your life fearing failure or judgment. Don't spend your life living out your dreams only in your mind. Get out there, stare down your fear, and live a life of extraordinary adventure. Headed down now. It was so, so bitterly cold at the top. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it was a little bit questionable. <laughs> um, but now that I'm down on the east side of this ridge, it's a break from the wind because that's really what's so cold is that wind. Um, so, Back down now, back down to camp, to break camp. I'll probably have lunch when I get there and then back out today. So just a one night trip. Um, it was 
Very nice. <laughs> um, still only about halfway done though. <laughs> so plenty more hiking to do today. Uh, I think I have about eight and a half miles of hiking since I did park down at the charcoal kilns. Um, Ready to fall. 